Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com and in this video we are going to talk about asset catalogs. So go ahead and let's dive into the sixth advent calendar video of this series. want to add new images into your Xcode project for your game, you could just simply go ahead and maybe drag and drop them anywhere you want. Let me just show you. You could just, I have a play button here and just drag and drop it here, maybe copy items if needed and you will have this asset, uh, asset inside your project. But Apple has introduced asset catalogs and that is the way to go when you want assets in your project. So right click it and delete and let's move this to trash. So if you don't already have an asset catalog you should create one and it will be named assets.xcassets. But before we dive in let me adjust uh, go ahead and show you uh, let me just go to the main menu okay in the last episode if you can recall we uh, made transitions easy but if we just uh, build and run now we can't really see that transition that we are moving in from uh, right as you can see I am tapping on it and nothing seems to happen that is because the background color of our main menu and our gameplay is the same so what I will go do to go uh, tell, show you this is set the background color of our gameplay scene let's say to Saya okay and now let us just build and run i have omitted this uh, explanation uh, this execution part from the last video because i was running out of time okay and now let me just tap and there you go we are at transitioning from one scene to the other good stuff okay now all we need to do is go ahead and commit our day five changes and I will create this new branch okay let's just wait for it and finally we are going to create a new branch from day five and I will just name this a day six of our series and as you can see it has been set to the current branch good stuff now let's go back to our assets catalog and let's see what we have here as default we have our app icon here and as you can see we can set our app icon different sizes here there are a lot of sizes with 20 points that are these 2x 3x now what are those well as of apple introduced retina display and um, you can set up uh, 2x and 3x images what that means let's say you have a 40 by 40 pixels image uh, inside your asset catalog that is the so-called 1x image now the 2x image is doubled that size so if you have a 40 by 40 then you need a 80 by 80 and you have to name it with an add dot uh, let me just show you here in my finder you need to name it like so at 2x dot png okay and the 3x of course needs to be if you have a 40 by 40 points image a 120 by 120 pixels image and you name it accordingly at 3x okay now these are uh, images but uh, for now let us just talk about our app icon of course you have here a lot of uh, resolution sizes and that is why I uh, first create the biggest resolution and that is for our app icon is 20, uh, 24 points by 24 and that is uh, great and I would just open up Photoshop here 
and create a new uh, file here that will be 124 by 124. Now let's just create this and this will be your icon. And now I just want to grab want to grab this winter that I have here and I will just open it. I want to collect this reddish RGB and I will just simply set the background to this one. Ah, good stuff here. And finally I just want to add a white text here and that will be an advent calendar tutorial. So I will just set it to simply, let me just make this larger and AC. Okay, advent calendar. And I will just set this to white of course and maybe set the font size to 200 or maybe 400, 400. Okay, that looks great. So this is advent calendar, I will position it to the center and I will just simply save it onto, well, it would be here, okay, icon and let it be of PNG. Well, we can save as PNG icons, do not need rounded corners. So you don't have to worry about that. iTunes Connect and the iOS system will take care of adding those rounded icons. And most importantly, you don't have, you are not allowed to add uh, alpha values. So make sure your uh, whole image is flat. Now, what I uh, like to use for creating all of these image sizes for the icon is icon kit it is a paid app but um, it's, it's uh, 99 cents or something like that go ahead and find it on the app store this is not a paid sponsorship i just really like this app so i will just simply go here into my resources and grab our icon and then just let's save without preview okay and i will just Add it, let me just, okay, under the resources will be there. Okay, and here we have our exported all of our icons. Now, what we need to do is first of all, let us just remove this app icon. And simply, and this is why asset catalogs are so, so easy to use, you just simply drag and drop it here. And there you have it, it's all, finished. Now, we don't have this uh, 1024 pixels by 1024 pixels uh, app store icon, so I will just simply drag and drop here our icon. Okay, there we have it. Okay, and now we have all of our icons. Let us just build and run and see how this looks on our simulator. Okay, you already see this. Let me just close this and here we have our advent calendar app icon good stuff now you know how to create app icons but now let's let us just drag in new images okay and let me just select all three of these you by now you already know what the difference is and voila you have created a new image set so if you right click on it you can see that we can create a new image set it is called a set because we have three images 1x 2x and 3x images so by default the ios system will choose the right format uh, for your game so it is saving memory okay now let us just uh, go to our main menu and add this button let's see how we can reference uh, this and now inside our did move to view let's just add a new function here go back here simulator the xcode is just a little sluggish today so i would just uh, add button or maybe rather yet add play button Okay, and I will just copy this out 
and add our function here so func add button add play button excuse me let me just give you some room here so you may see up on the top so we want to add our play button first of all we need to create a sprite for this so so once again we are not creating a button actually we are just creating a sprite you will learn about how to create buttons in SpriteKit in a later video so for now let us just create a sprite so play button equals sk sprite node and this will be an image named okay and the image named let me just go back here here you can see we have a play and a uh, button play and we can't really see the earth 2x or add 3x you don't have to worry about that you just need to add the the original button play text so uh, xcode takes care of selecting the correct size so let's go back to main menu and i will just paste this button play so this is the name of our button and finally let us have our play buttons position equals to uh, cg uh, let me just first of all let us have our anchor point set to cg and that will be 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 that is so we can set our buttons according to the center of our C and of course we want to position the play button directly at the center of our screen so it will be CG point and zero okay the next thing we want to do is add our button to the scene so add child play button simple as that so we don't have to uh, select self add child because self is already our SK scene so let us just build and run and then let's see what happens until now okay let us wait for that and as you can see we have added our button to the center of our image okay now let us go back here to our asset catalog and let's take a look at what else do we have here so here we have our name of course you can change the name and here it is the render as default if you take a look at my other video where i talk about named colors of course colors for buttons um, aren't necessarily a thing in a sprite kit game but if you use it in a ui kit app then you would rather want template images for your buttons so you can programmatically set their colors and that is all covered in my video about named colors so here you can set original image template image and default default is always the original image so uh, another thing to notice i always use universal as the device type because it scales and moves uh, accordingly to um, the selected device okay and you don't really need to worry about all the other stuff okay now if you want to add a new image set inside xcode not just drag and drop you can always right click and here you have all the assets that you can add you can add image sets color sets data sets texture sets and so on or app icons if you have uh, deleted your app icon you can uh, set up here and of course you can have new sticker packs if you are using a sticker uh, a project and of course you can remove the selected here and of course with the plus sign here plus button here and the minus button you can do the same and if you want you can filter your images but what if you want to add more images well, what if you have hundreds of images and then you just scroll down here and you really can't find you need a way to uh, um, sort these images and what you need to do is uh, go ahead and uh, right click here and set a new folder 
and that will create a new folder for you. And for now, for our logic of our in-game logic should be we have images inside our main menu, inside our gameplay. So I will just call this a main menu. Okay? And now I will just drag and drop our button play inside our main menu. Okay? And now let us just build and run. And of course we will have a missing image, but I just want to show you that the image is missing. And no, it is not missing. Well, it looks like Xcode has already uh, found out, uh, but if you have earlier versions, let me just show you this. You can just simply go to our main menu, to the button play, and go ahead and type in main menu, like so. And let us uh, just delete this from the simulator, so we get everything with a clean install. Oh, I believe Xcode has figured this out. You no longer need this main menu. Let us just delete this. Now, there you go. And now you can see everything that is categorized inside your main menu uh, folder. Okay, now that is about it, about the basics of asset catalogs. Now you know how to move images inside your app and how you can use them in, in uh, your app in code, like so. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and share it with your friends or give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to our channel to see more videos of me about Sprite and all iOS tutorials. Okay, see you in the next one.